What's cracking, everybody? Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I style my perm. What perm you're asking? It's not here right now. I straightened my hair the other day because I wanted it straight for some pictures. So as some of y'all might know, uh, I have a perm. I got a perm around three months ago in like July. And I one, wanted to show you guys just how I style and how I do it. And two, wanted to give you guys just a few little mm, updates slash notes. Number one, when I first got my perm, I hated it. Like I hated it so much. My bangs were cut too like, I mean, they were long, but like when they were curly, they were like way too short. It just looked weird. I just didn't like it. I don't know. I like I like it so much more now that it's settled because it's been three months. They usually fade around like six months. It's like halfway faded. It's just a lot better look for me. Not you know, just being a little bit more simmered and stuff. Number two, so many of you guys on that video were so nice about it and just said that it looks so good and so natural and blah, blah, blah. Keep that energy for people with naturally curly hair. I have seen so many people with naturally curly hair or even just naturally wavy hair saying, why do you never straighten your hair? You should try straightening your hair, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Pressuring people to change their natural looks is just can be really hard on people's confidence. So keep that energy for all of my naturally curly haired girls and boys and everything in between. Just keep that same energy. That's all I'm trying to say. Let people do them. If they want to straighten it, that's great. Go for it. Mine is literally not natural. So um, to people that do have naturally curly hair, I applaud you because it is not easy to deal with, but that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Thing number three, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. I am so excited to be working with them again because I have worked with them many times in the past. I have been using Function of Beauty for years. My sister has also worked with them so many times and I remember in my old house, I would always like use her shampoo and conditioner and be so scared that she was gonna chop my head off because she was mean. <laughs> but I just thought it was so cool how it was so like customizable and stuff. So if you don't know what Function of Beauty is, basically you take a two minute little hair quiz and they send you a shampoo and conditioner customized just for your hair. Because hair care and skin care and clothes and everything like that, nothing is like one size fits all. So that's why I really like Function of Beauty because it is so customizable down to the scent, the color, your hair goals are basically what you want them to do. So these are my hair goals. My hair goals are replenish hair, strengthen, hydrate, volumize, and oil control. Why did I say that weird? Oil control. I use hair masks a lot because my hair is damaged from the perm. So I'm going to try this one today for the first time. I'll give you a little review on it. And they also sent me a leave-in conditioner, which I also use every time I style my hair because I need leave-in conditioner to help me brush out my hair. So for a limited time, you can get a free hair mask, which is worth $19. If you purchase now with the link below in my description. So go check that out. And thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring me. Let's get in the shower. Sorry. <laughs> also this beautiful bathroom, is not mine. It's my parents. I wish my bathroom was this beautiful and I wish it was remodeled, but it's not. Okay, everybody, this is the part of the video where I prove just how wide I am by dancing to somebody else by the 1975. Uh, what can I say? It is quite a banger and I also am not a fake fan. I know they have a lot better and just more songs than that. Anyway, so I'm going in with my shampoo first. I forgot to mention these bottles have pumps, which is really just nice and convenient. So I focus the shampoo mainly on my scalp because that's where all the grease and the oil lives on your head. So you got to get that all out if you actually want clean hair. Next, I'm going in with my conditioner, focusing this mainly on the ends because my ends uh, are a little bit fried. Perming your hair literally just it does just as much damage as coloring or bleaching your hair. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're debating if you want a perm. So I'm just leaving that in for a minute before I wash it out. And then I'm next going in with a hair mask. I'm gonna leave this in for like 15 minutes. I'll see you when I'm out of the shower. I'm out of the shower. Is my mic on? I'm out of the shower. I'm gonna leave my hair in this towel for like 15 minutes. I used to get straight out of the shower and brush my hair right away because that's just what I, did but i found that when i do that my hair separates so much and the curls separate so much and then they have a hard time going back together so that when they dry it's so separated and the curls are like this big and i just like when they're more like combined and bigger curls if that makes sense so i'm going to go get dressed and i will meet you back here in like 15 minutes <laughs> it is a prime time it is a prime time right now because if i don't do this right now or if i wait too long it messes up literally everything so i'm gonna take my hair down and i'm only gonna brush 
a few parts. I'm gonna use a little bit of this leave-in conditioner just to make it easier if I can open it. So I'm gonna add a little bit to the back because this is usually where I get the most knots. So I have to brush this out. I don't like to brush my whole head because then like I said, the curls separate too much and I just don't really love that look. The back of my hair tangles so much. Even when it was straight, I would wake up and have like a huge bird's nest in the back of my head. So I'm just gonna brush this out. I always start at the ends because my mom is a hairdresser and she always told me to do that and work my way up. Curl cream, scrunch. I don't do, I don't go too hard with the curl cream because it used to make my hair uh, super crunchy when I did add a lot more. So now I just kind of stick to a lighter amount and just focus on the ends. Now I'm gonna scrunch all of my hair with a towel. This is good because it absorbs water. Obviously that's what towels do. Uh, so it just makes my hair drier. So I literally just scrunch my whole entire head just with a towel. Here is my finished wet hair. I don't like using a diffuser. I really like how it air dries. So I'm just gonna air dry it and I will see you guys in a couple hours. Peace out. The next day. Hello. It's actually the next day. I let my hair completely dry and now is the time where I get to touch it up and do things like that because I need to. One thing I really don't like about my perm is my bangs. I wish I just would have like let my bangs grow out and then done this and I feel like it would have looked a lot better. Especially now because they've grown out so much. I didn't like them when they were super curly and I don't like them now that they're grown out. So I mean like either way, I just don't love them. Mm -hmm. You want it out? See ya. When my mom did my perm, she also curled my bangs going the same way. So like I have some bangs that... You gonna come in? I have some bangs that curl in towards my face, which I don't like. I always like my curls to go out, if that makes sense. When I recurl little parts of my hair, what I do is I try and find one, the curls that didn't curl as well as all the other ones, and two, the curls that kind of fell apart. For example, some of these underneath ones, because I brushed them, they didn't really go back together to make one giant curl. Um, and then I also curl just like a few in the front. I just curl like a few little ones all over just to kind of give it some more like volume and stuff and a little bit of like a different curl so they don't all look the same. I look crazy. I just woke up. To make my bangs blend a little bit more, I try and like combine them with these pieces that are longer, but sometimes it's a hit or miss. It really just depends on my skills today. My hair also looks very flat right now. That's because it doesn't have product in it. And once I add like dry shampoo, hairspray, I also have some like wave spray. It just overall looks a lot better and less like someone stepped on my head. I feel like the whole goal with a perm is just to wake up with like perfect curls, but that's just not how it works, at least for me. So if you're thinking about getting a perm and you just think it's gonna be easy and you just wake up with beautiful curls, that is not how it works. Welcome back to a voiceover. So I'm taking a one inch wand because like I said, I just like having bigger curls. You can't really tell and I wasn't really doing the best job in this, but I like to take multiple pieces and then curl those all together just so the curls looked more pieced together. Um, I'm also going in with some dry shampoo, some texture spray, a wide tooth comb to tease my hair. Don't worry, I was being very careful when teasing my hair just because I know how damaging it can be and how easily it can ruin curls and stuff. So for my bangs, today they were just misbehaving. They were not doing good. I don't know if it's because I slept on them or something. I probably slept on my face and so they just looked really weird. Um, so I tried a few different things. I tried to kind of push them back a little bit. They weren't really working. I tried to just curl them and have them be fine. They weren't really working. Then I tried to just combine them with like the rest of my hair and they just weren't working. What a surprise. So I just kind of had them mellow out for a second and then I just kind of tucked them behind the rest of my curls. I don't do this too often, but I think it looks okay. Um, I don't know. I think in the end it looked fine. But I don't know, having a perm is not easy, people. It's really not. So if you are debating on getting one, just know it takes a lot of work to have one and to manage it and to make it look good. So here is my final look. Does it look perfect? No. Am I still working on it? Yes. Is the reality of having a perm that you do have to do a lot of extra work with it? 
Yes. So this is the finished look. I have to kind of like tuck the bangs back here because they literally just like, they won't go back. They won't really, they won't do anything. They're misbehaving today. If you recurl your hair, get bigger pieces instead of just little individual small ones. It just makes it look better, I think. I'm gonna put on some makeup really fast and then I'll come back with the final results, even though this is the final resort results of my hair, but. It looks better with makeup. <laughs> I'm back. I just watched an ASMR video, so I feel like I have to talk so quiet. I don't. This is my finished look. I just threw on a little bit of makeup. I don't really like it, but what can you do? So my bangs look best when they're like relaxed and not super curly, so this is what we're dealing with. So this is my finished hair. I hope you guys like it. Hope you're satisfied with the results. Uh, I am, I think it looks a lot better than it did, like, I don't know, before I styled it and did things to it. I honestly kind of like how my bangs swoop down. It kind of gives like the look of like the curtain bangs, you know? I guess that's technically what they are, but I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you guys liked it, give this video a thumbs up. I hope this was helpful. You guys have been asking me how I style my perm like since I got it and now that it's not insanely curly, I think it looks a lot better and it's still, Difficult to style on some days, but I don't know. I think it's still cute. So also thank you to function and beauty for sponsoring subscribe thumbs up. Peace out. Bye